Now I'm Bengali and I'm currently here in Bangladesh right now for holidays for a couple of weeks and I've been here around five to six different times over the years so in this video I'm going to be telling you some of the things that I don't really like about the country and perhaps maybe some of the reasons why you shouldn't come and visit. Now being Bengali myself and having traveled to Bangladesh like five to six different times throughout my life I've come to really like and also dislike some things about the country. Now over time Bangladesh is changing very fast and developing as time goes but regardless I'll be mentioning some things that I don't really like about the country. Now the first thing I don't like about the country is the fact that their hygiene is very bad actually especially when it comes to food. So whenever I'm here in Bangladesh I never actually get to really eat outside much at all because every time I do I get sick very easily and I doubt it's just my immune system or oh your stomach's week or whatnot but I feel like it's just the fact that you can get food poisoning very quickly here in Bangladesh and many diseases here are common that are food related and water related so street food is something to really stay away from and even if you don't get sick the reality is that these guys are actually super dirty and if you thought the UK was bad and other countries in Europe are bad for not using gloves then I guess you'll be shocked if you really saw how they make food here in Bangladesh so eating outside is something that you need to to do with caution which again is a pretty downside of it now the second reason is because the streets are dirty many a times there is garbage literally in the way of people walking there is animals hanging around such as dogs and cows and chickens and you can see them pooing and peeing whenever and wherever which is quite disgusting actually there is also people spitting left right center which is very common and the overall hygiene is just bad like literally go in the streets and you'll see that some people even pee in the streets yeah and they don't wash their hands after going to the toilet and all of these things so I'd probably be very careful before I handshake anyone now another reason is the fact that the weather is all over the place every time I come here it's usually summer and it's super super hot like having a shower and after you come out of the shower whatever you still feel like you need a fan or you need an air conditioner to keep you cold even after a cold shower even the cold showers don't really feel cold anymore because the water's in the tanks and because of the hot weather the water starts to get hot as well so it's currently like 35 degrees here in Bangladesh and if you do come around I would definitely suggest coming in the winter as it's definitely much better now the sound of the honks is also another thing to keep in mind it's very noisy here in Bangladesh whenever I'm recording a video after plugging my mic I have to actually shut my door and shut the windows because you can literally hear the sounds of the honks and all of that stuff. So it's just noise in general. The streets especially because whenever you go to the village, which is like a different story, but in the city, it's super hot, super loud and super dirty. So if you go to the main city of Dhaka, you'll see that you'll be stuck in traffic for hours, literally hours, like hours and hours, especially during rush hour. And you'll be sweating like crazy because of the weather, because of this and that and all of that stuff is basically just you know gonna ruin your mood and another thing is that in Bangladesh you have animals in your house like flies mosquitoes salamanders and ants and other little bugs and these little animals in general and this is something that you will find in many houses which is kind of creepy especially if you don't like insects and if you do live like in the ground floor first floor second floor this stuff is just way more common but i remember back in the days it used to be much worse but nowadays it is getting better as time is going now these are the main reasons i'd say to not come and visit bangladesh unless you're actually bengali or you have someone close to you but just for traveling purposes unless you've gone to like every country in the world and bangladesh is in your tick list then you know then that's fine but otherwise it's just you know there are many other countries that you should visit first in my opinion and if you do want to come at the end of the day, then you can just come in, enjoy it, and why not, right? So again, if you do want to come in, that's up to you. But just from my own personal experience, I just feel like I would probably go to other countries and enjoy more before coming to Bangladesh.